All right. Is it recording? Hey, I'm making another little video and I, I look like complete crap, but it seems to be the only time I have time to do it it's right before my workout. I started doing Shelly and Extreme after Insanity and Insanity Asylum. And uh, I'm doing Burn Circuit 3 today. So I'll take some clips of that and try to do some still shots to show that I'm losing my middle. I don't have my muffin top. Warming up your whole body, upper body, lower body at the same time. Let's take it into squats now. Hands together. Hum on your feet. Toes and knees facing forward about shoulder width apart. Hands out in front. Sit all the way back. Pushing your hips back behind you. Keeping your knees on top of your ankles. All right, now take it down for three. Go down for three. And a little bit lower if you can because what that's going to do is warm up your legs a little quicker. Doesn't that feel good? Especially if you have a little bit of residual soreness. It's a great way to work it out. Out. Down three. Now go down to single. You'll notice as your body starts to warm up, the movements become easier, including stretching. You never want to stretch without warming up your muscles first. You're less likely to injure yourself when you've got some blood pumping through them. Take it out wide to a sumo squat. Arms go down and all the way up. Reach up. How's that feel? Good job. We're waking up your body no matter what time of the day it is. This is how you say, all right, get ready to work. Two more. Then we'll turn into a tricep extension. Go to your left, elbows up high. So I'm your mirror image. So we're both turned to the left. Your elbows up nice and high. Good. Notice how the elbow stays in one spot. Bending both knees. Okay, and you know what? The guys, their legs are a lot stronger than the girls, so don't be surprised. Up on the toe. Push the heel and lift up. Good. Come down nice and slow. Roll up onto the toe. Slowly the calf lifts. Yeah, and come up slowly. Keep your chest and shoulders up. Bring it down slowly. Lift up. Woo! Yeah. Keep your shoulders up. Continue, guys. Continue. So, Layla, you've got lighter weights today, but you can really create your own resistance. And yeah. is this heavy enough for you? You feel it? I can feel it. Okay, no and challenging there. enough. So, look, at she's coming up on the toe, and she's not just lifting these weights. She's really putting emphasis in a contracting the glutes and hamstrings, her knees on top, both arms at the same time. Lead with your elbows. Bring it down slowly. Woo! See, I can make 10 pounds. I can make 10 pounds feel like it's 20. And it is not about how big the weights are that you've picked up. It is about how intense you can make the exercise. That it's intense enough, you can really feel how hard it is when you finish. I mean, you can barely eke out that 12th rep. Good. Squat down. Go slowly. Your knees are on top of the ankles. When you lift up, I'm going to use you as an example here. Her elbows are at the same height as the knuckles, and that is perfect. Squat down. Push all the way back through the hips. The ankles are on top of the knees. No, they're not. The knees are on top of the ankles. That'd be weird. Come down slow. Beautiful. Do it again. Come on, come on. Okay. Now, how would you know if this is too heavy? Vince, if you'll watch us, take your hands up higher, Janelle. Like, yeah, not that this is way too high and the hands are too high. So look, I want everything level and then bring it down. So take your legs out until they're wide enough. You can keep all of your weight forward and really focus on using the front leg. Now we're doing six reps on each leg. Come on. All right, now that's six, but the arms are going to continue. We're going to switch legs. You ready? Okay, pull the abs in nice and tight. Donna, you ready with the band? Okay, let's go. Down and up, frontal press. Continue. Down and up. This is amazing. Look at the resistance that we're getting from these bands. It's Delta fantastic. Go Again, I'm going to go light here. I'm going to go 10 pounds so that I can really <coughs> use exceptional form and target the muscles and really make the shoulders work. How heavy are you gonna go? Uh, Laylee, let's hear it. Five pounds. Five pounds is great. Fantastic. All right, here we go. Sumo squat, so feet turned out, abs are nice and tight. We're gonna bring it down, squeeze up. Now lift the waist, leading with the elbows. Bring it down nice and slow. Excellent, bring it down, squeeze up, and lift. Now, you can let the weights rest either on the thighs if you'd like, or in front of the thighs. It really depends on what feels most comfortable for you. 
So, you know, I just caught myself letting the, the knuckles rise up first, and you really want to lead with the elbow. So take a look at the side of your arm right now. Be your own personal trainer and make sure that's happening. Lift. Abs are nice and tight. Bring it down slow. Continue, continue. How are we doing back here? Okay, let's see. So see, like, Janelle likes to hold the weights in front, and that's fine. It's what works for you. It also depends on the size of your equipment. So she lets the weights come down here in front. Now, when you come up, really engage the adductors. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze forward. Beautiful. Lift up, leave with the elbow. No higher than here. Come down super slow. Shoulders, that medial delta. You see how that makes that nice cut inside? That's a beautiful muscle. Bring it down. Squeeze the thighs. Squeeze forward. Come on, lift. There we go. Let's go, Mike. Come on, baby. Come down. Perfect form. Look at this posture. It's so great. And he lets the rest weights. Uh, the weights are on top of his thighs. A little different from Janelle, but his equipment's a little different. Make what you have work for you. This is your workout. This is your time to get fit. Keep going, guys. You've got one more if you can do it. If you failed, fantastic, because you already made it to 10. All you have to do is 10. If you make it to 12, that's a bonus. All right, guys. Breathe out. As it gets tougher, that's when you really want to focus on your breathing. Push. Bring it down slowly. Good. All right, come on. Push your hips. Go. Nice. Awesome. I'm going to push one more up. All right, guess what time it is. It is time to get extreme. That means we wait. 10 seconds, and then you eke out three incredibly intense more reps. Let's go, guys. Pick them up. Come on. Get serious for me, baby. Here we go. That shoulder press. Just the shoulders, no squats. Now, slowly. Up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down super slow. Don't just lower the weights. I want you to flex it down. Every muscle's contracted. Flex your biceps. Flex your shoulders. Good. Push up slow. Slow, slow, slow. Come on, extreme. Tell yourself you can do this. It feels good to overcome this challenge. Come on, baby. Push for me. Let's go. Push, push, push. You can do it. You can do it harder. Push. Now, you got control. Bring that weight down slowly. You hold all of the power. You can do it. Bring it down slowly. You can do this. You've got to will it to happen. You've got to know what's going to happen. You've got to be able to visualize the body that you're trying to create. You have to know it's going to happen for you. Good job, guys. One more. Let's go. Lift up slowly. Elbows in the lead. We're really targeting that medial deltoid. And then we're going to switch sides. Now, if you're working with the bands, just wrap it around the opposite foot. Donna's going to be there for you. We're going to step forward. You guys ready? Now step forward. <coughs> Lead with the shoulders. Good. Bring it down slowly. Dig in an inch and push off. Continue. Lunge forward. Lift him up. Here we go, Mike. Good. Now here's a good cue. I want your elbows to light up just slightly in front of your chest. So you know what I mean, Mike? I'm going to have you bring them forward just a little bit more. Yeah. So basically, Basically, if it becomes more intense, you're probably doing it right. Now, I don't want you to feel joint pain, sliding up that wall, calf raise. Heels go down and press all the way up. Great posture. See how her back stays straight, just like she's sliding up and down a wall. Then the calf raise where she's lifting not only just against the resistance of the band, but her body weight as well. Fantastic job, Donna. Keep going. Keep pushing. How are we doing back here? Okay, Mike. How those 50 pounders feel? Oh, yeah. You happy with that decision? On your body. Yeah. I like Rotate it. Rotate it center. Good. Round your back all the way up. Let's do a nice little shoulder stretch. Hold it across. <coughs> Good. Doesn't that feel fantastic? Love that way that feels. Modify Bring it across Let's on the other side. with the shoulder row because I know you're ready to start burning some calories. Now, we're just warming up the body, so make sure you're not going to take it into squats. Hands out in front. Good. Have a seat. It's just like you're sitting back in a chair, but I want you to keep your knees on top of your ankles and push your hips all the way back. You should be feeling this in your glutes and hamstrings. Now take it down for three. Good. Notice that the knees are right on top of the ankles, and that's so important. Can you get a shot of that, Vince? 
So here's what I do want. Me on top of the ankle, here's what I don't want. See the difference? I do. Try to make sure I'm going straight. Back to make that I watched my video the other day. Let's again. Not sure you still have any weights, and those work for me, but whatever you've got, we will make it work. I'm going to teach you how to find the right amount of resistance and select the right weights each time to make this workout effective. Plie or a sumo squat. Now, just like you're sliding your back straight up and down a wall, and your arms are going overhead, good. We're warming up the inner thigh, the outer thigh, the glutes, so squeeze. Now, turn to your left and give me a tricep extension. Notice where this elbow is. Got it up above my back. All right, and that's where you want to keep it. So if you can't see that, look back and check it out. Is it up? Reach down, let's go. Reach and pull. Now notice I'm packing both knees, kind of sitting or squatting, reaching down, because if you're gonna grab something off the floor. And this is just a quick way to warm up your lower body by using a large muscle group, pumping blood. Reach your arms in front, reach and pull. Reach and pull. Now when you reach, I want you to feel the abs contract when you pull back. Stretch your chest. Because we're gonna do a lot of chest work today too. Hold it. Slide your hips all the way back. The front leg, lift that toe up. Here's your hamstring stretch. Circle all the way around. Good, warming up your shoulder. This is synovial fluid pumping through the shoulder. Last one. Hold it down. Rotate back to center. We're gonna drop the left shoulder twice. Right twice. Good job. Hold this one. Round it all the way up and tricep in the opposite direction. Look, both knees are tucking. I'm bending both knees. Good. All the weights on my forward leg. On that forward leg, I'm making sure that the knee is not coming out over the toe. Reach all the way down. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. Awesome. Okay, here we go. Chest and back. Reach and pull back. Reach and pull back. Stretch your chest, hold it. Shift your weight all the way back, tailbone is up. Lift up that toe, this leg is straight. And we circle around, because what we're doing is warming up your hamstring, the back of the thigh, and that's an area where a lot of people are tight. Good, so if you can stretch it out, hold it down, you're gonna prevent injury, and that's the key. Rotate it back to center, round your back up. All right, now I want you to select weights that are just a warm-up weight. So I'm going to use seven pounds. This is ideal for me, and because I'm using a select, I can just dial that right in. And whatever is your lightest weight, that's what I want you to use for your warm-up set. It's just something to get blood pumping into the muscle groups. Here we go. Starting with a lateral raise, abs in tight, right arm lifts up, lead with your elbow. Good. So this is pretty light. It doesn't feel like it's a strain. That's one good way to know if it's appropriate. One more. Great job. Both arms and lean forward. Now I'm going to lead with my pinkies. So the position has changed slightly. The back is flat. Abs are in. I'm leaning with the pinky. Elbow slightly bent. One more time. And now into the squat. Have a seat. Your chest is up. Hips are back. Let's go to single squats. Down and up. Good. Now all we're doing is trying to pump blood into the muscles. I think we've done a great job of that. So sit down. Have a seat. Carefully put your weights away. I'm going to remind you to do that throughout our workout today. Bend your knees when you're putting your weights away. And we will get started with our first exercise. Okay, this first exercise is a sumo squat with a hip lift. And because we're going to be working the lower body and your obliques, you can go considerably heavier than what you will in some of just our upper body exercises. I'm always going to tell you what I'm you using. Feel you have to keep up with me. It's just to give you a range so you know you can go heavier or lighter. Now this is a heavy weight, so I want to use a option on the shoulders. And then take the feet out nice and wide, tailbones underneath, and we're going to slide down the wall slowly in that sumo squat. Come up, squeeze your inner thigh muscles. Now I'm going to work my feet in slightly and lift the hip to the rib, hip to the rib. Take my feet back out wide base, slowly slide down that wall, come up nice and slow, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Bring your feet in a little bit, hip lift. Hip lift. Now, Laylee, how heavy are you going today? 10 pounds. 10 pounds. She's just starting out, and if you're just starting out, this is a learning process. You're going to evaluate exactly how you felt at the end of this set, and you'll know if next time we need to go a little heavier or maybe a little lighter. But my guess, my guess, is not eight percent of the time. Shrink. Keep going because I don't want you to make it to 12. How are we doing back here? We're going to set 12. 
Donna, this is great. So she's using the tubing, and the tubing is no joke. It looks very innocent and cute, and it is a lot of resistance. She is working hard. This is real sweat. Good job. And, you know, it's not just the strengthening, but it's also the balance and the core work that really helps to improve our overall level of fitness. She's sliding her legs, and this is great. And Lambie, you're doing such a good job. Such a great job. This is a, a really good way. Now, don't let me throw you off balance. You just move, and I'll stand behind you. And you, I want you to notice that she's trying to bring the hip toward the rib. It's not just lifting up the knee. I actually want you to lift the hip to the rib so that you're tightening up your obliques when you're doing that exercise. You want to make your 9th or 10th breath. You're counting for yourself. You don't have to stay with us. I want you to make it to 12. Tell yourself you're going to make it to 12. And then we'll do a little assessment. You guys are almost there. This is your 11th one. I'm going to join you. Bend in my knees. Pick the weights up. Bring them up under the shoulders. Good. Okay, here we go. Slide down slow. Now enjoy the ride. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Engage the muscle. Lift. Good job. We put the waist down. That was a great job, you guys. Always bend your knees when you're putting your weights away, especially when we're working those heavier ranges. Now, this next exercise, I want you to go considerably lighter. So, I said, if I use now, two, I'm going to use 12 and a half pounds. And the weights that I happen to be using allow me to select a half pound weight. But you can go much lighter than that. Whatever it is, whatever equipment you're using, we will find a way to make it work so it's the appropriate amount of resistance. You'll be stepping forward with your left leg. You'll be in a posterior fly with your left. I'm sorry, with your right arm. Bring the chest down. Your knuckles face away. Your palm faces you. Elbow slightly bent. Fly. Bring it down slow. Go down an inch. Push up. Awesome. Let's do it again. Land. Chest is down. Elbow leads. Now, Vince, can you get a shot of my shoulder? Watch this. If I were to do this exercise standing up, I would work the top of my shoulder. I have to lean forward in order to really target the back of the shoulder on that posterior fly. So we're going to land. Pinky lead. Oh, feel that. And push up. Then we're going to land in your lunge. Dip down. Pinky lead. Ooh. You're doing great. Is it getting heavy, Donna? Keep going. Keep going. Let me see what's going on here. We've got great posture. The reason why it's difficult is because you're doing it right. And if you're doing it right, it's very effective and it's very intense. So if this is not tough for you right now, do some things to do a little check. Make sure your back's flat and you just continue. I'm going to walk them through it. Make sure that when you're lunging forward, see how she's leaning so we can target the back of the shoulder? This is so key. And the band work is a great way to build resistance in the back of the arm. And your body loves muscle. It is the fountain of youth. It is why Donna, who is at 60, looks the way she looks. Because people who work out look younger, they act younger, they live longer. You are adding years to your life right now. Right, Mike? Right. Go ahead and lift nice and slow. Good job. Can we do two more? Come on. Come on. All right, one more. One more. You're right. You're right. Chest down. Excellent. Slow, slow, slow down. Good job, little sister. Good job. Switch legs. Switch arms. Let's go. Opposite side now. Okay, so knuckles face away from you. Palm faces your thigh. Elbows slightly bent. You step forward with the opposite leg. Step forward. Posterior fly. Lead with your pinky. Good. Now, if you've got a mirror in the room, I want you to position it so that you can see yourself. And if you don't have that ability, try to use your reflection in the TV screen so you can occasionally check and see what's going on with your own technique. So, for example, some of the things that I want you to look for is, is your back lined up at 45 degrees? When you're leaning forward, are you leaning with the pinky? Go slow. Exactly what I want you to do. Lead with that pinky. Come down, lunge. Lift. How are we doing, guys? Keep going, keep going. I'm going to check in on you. Great, Lily. So this is perfect. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to lean forward just a little bit more, honey. There you go. Okay, now come up. Let's do that again. So you come forward, now you there you go. Because only when you lean forward can you target here. See that posterior deltoid? It's coming, girlfriend. It's coming. You're getting stronger. So are you. You're getting stronger. It should be difficult at this point. You're on your eighth rest. You should be feeling like, wow, okay. 
This is hard, I'm bleeding hard, I can barely give up. It shouldn't be easy, and I know you've been doing maybe programs, you're doing a lot of reps. This is a different mindset. Heavier weights, fewer reps, quick results, beautiful body, building muscle, and muscle burns fat. Guaranteed. You can do two more, come on. I'll join in. Because I'm fresh now, I'm walking around, talking. What's the big deal? Step forward. Lift my neck, pinky. That was it. That was it. That was it. It's feeling so bad. All right, put that weight away. Now, I used to hate push-ups, and I hated them because I never did push-ups, and I never did push-ups because I hate them. I do push-ups all the time now, and now I love them. So let's hit the deck, and you're going to learn to love them, too. can't do a push-up on your and make them perfect. Then you'll get strong enough, and eventually, each time you I don't love them. I want you to add one more push-up But I do head. swear like them. If you can start on your toes. Because I'm getting better at them. You're going to go down and up. Now lift your right leg and keep your body stable. So I want your hips to stay low, down and up. Blow out. Lift your left. Go down and up. Keep your hips stable and lift. Bring your chest all the way down, all the way up, and lift. Now don't let your hips lift all the way up. How are you doing back there? Yeah, yeah that's your fifth one. You doing great, keep going. This is great. Hey, Vince, come over here and check out Laylee. This is so perfect. Now, she is on her knees, and this is what I want. Look how she's bringing her arms all the way down to the ground. And it's not easy, is it? Her arms are shaking, but I want you to bring your chest all the way down and push up. Do as many as you can. If you can't do 12, no big deal. You will get to a point where you'll be able to do 12. Don't skip this part. Push up to the best thing you can do. We've been doing them since the beginning of time. Why? Because they're effective. Okay, last one, last one. Hey, everybody. Jump up. Jump up. Okay, so if I'm not tired, I don't have to stay on the floor. Jump up and be ready. We're ready for the next exercise. Good job. Next move, the deadlift of a posterior just a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Legs are straight, but I'm not locking my knees. I want to make sure the knees stay soft. Now I'm going to slowly, with a flat back, slide the weights down my thigh. Now with a flat back, leading with the shoulder blades and my tailbone lift down, sliding the weights halfway up. Here we're going to do a posterior fly, leading with the pinkies, and then stand all the way up. Am I hearing some moaning on the first rep? Oh boy, we're in trouble. Now come all the way up, lift that tailbone up, and fly. Woo! Great job, guys. Stand all the way up. That's only your second rep, and I love how slow you're moving. When you're moving this slow, there is no momentum. There's only one thing that's working, and it is your muscle. Squeeze really slow. Stand up tall. Continue because you have several reps left, and you're loving every minute of it. Right, Laylee? Good. Okay, so I'm definitely going down a little further. Right there for your posterior fly. Okay, then stand up nice and tall. You've got a great flat back. See if you can really lift your tap on that. Now, do me a favor, Laylee. Round your back. Okay, so this is what a lot of people do, and you can't even feel it's happening, but this bad posture, you don't work your hamstrings. Now, Vince, here's show the hamstrings. Lately, show us the good posture. Hamstrings immediately engage, pull all the way up. You've got to be able to feel that and see that. Do a check of yourself in the mirror and make sure that your tailbone is lifted. Look at this posture. This posture allows us to really engage the hamstrings. Because she's leaning forward when she uses the band, it's all posterior deltoids. Awesome job, guys. Continue down slowly. Good. Three quarters of the way up. Lead with your pinkies. Your palms are facing your thighs. Your pinkies are on the lead. How are we doing that, bro? And making a whole lot of noise. Good. And posterior fly. Now, Donna, you just said I'm going to do two more. So your goal is to do 11. Your goal is to do 10, and that's perfectly accept acceptable. I just don't want you to fail before you get to 10. You can stop anywhere between 10 and 12. Got that? You can stop anywhere between 10 and 12. But you can't stop because you want to. I need you to stop because you have to. Because you have gone with such heavy weights, 
that you can barely eat out your last breath. We're going to talk about that concept, but it's the concept of muscle failure. And it's one of those areas where failure really means success. Bend your knees to put the weights away. That was a great job. Next exercise is a lunge with core rotation. So, because we're working lower body and core again, you can go considerably heavier. I'm going to use 25 pounds. Um, if you don't have weights that heavy, I will show you how to create your own resistance and reach going that for same weight. You only need one weight. Now, because this is a heavy weight, you want to pick it up carefully, and you're going to hold the weight in your hands. You guys ready? Let's step forward with the right leg first. Now, make sure, Vince, will you get a shot of my knee here for a second? Because a lot of people worry about their knees. If your knee comes out over the toe, that's really hard on the knee. So we're going to slide the hips back so the knee lines up on top of the ankle. And we're going to do a little rainbow to the right, to the left. Now down an inch and push up. How nice is that? Bring it down, glutes and hamstrings. Oh, oh. Down an inch and push up. So this is core and it's legs. And you're really working on the obliques when you do that little rotation. Down and push up. Continue, continue. I'm glad you love it. Let's see if you're doing it right. That's okay. Yeah, you're doing it right. This is fantastic. Don't let me throw you up there. Okay, now watch. We're gonna lunge forward. The knee lines up on top of the ankle. She does a little chiffon with this rainbow arc. Now we're down inch and step back. Mike, how are you doing back here? Okay, I like that. Rainbow. And so he's moving his whole body. It's not just the weight. Down an inch and push up. Let's do it again for me. Here we go. Bring it down. Now watch. He's following this rainbow. And it's his whole upper body. Yeah. And now down an inch. Come in close. Get these little beads and sweat. This is real. This is real. That's how you should be feeling. Like, oh my God, this is so hard. This is intense. I'm dying here. That's how I have to be. You have to catch me. Muscle burns fat. And when you burn fat and you become lean, you become smaller and tighter. I don't know who started that rumor that muscle bumps you up, but this is proof that muscle does not bump you up. It makes you lean and tight and ripped, and that's how you're going to be. Come on, are we still working? Come on, give me two more reps. Oh, damn ya. Come on. And step off. Oh, I feel fresh. I feel fresh. What's all the money you're grabbing about? Step off. Let's go. Other leg. You ready, guys? She's going to twist. Two on the left. Two more on the right. We're going to make sure that we've got enough space between the front leg and the back leg so the knee is safely protected. Step forward. It's a long stride. Now we go to the outside. Then to the inside. Reach your ground. Down inch and push up. Beautiful. Step forward. Now it's a big step between your front leg and your back leg. Down. Alright, so the right stride is actually much harder on the knee, which a lot of people do. These are the mistake that's made. Really so hard. Continue on the biceps. Do you know what you're really Holding. Doing? So, hey, Vince, can we come over here? It's only for the belt, right? So see how far the belt is going to be. Not that my legs don't feel like it. Can you take a short step on me? Can you hear okay, this? I rest it on my hip bones. I'm going to come back. So you want to take a long stride. Lately, you I don't even know if I'm supposed to do that, but. Okay, good. Crunch, use the obliques, down an inch, and push off. So she looks like they're all. No, I don't. People have always seen their knees hurt after doing exercises, or because they're doing their exercises improperly. Make sure their knee lines up on top of the ankle. One more. One more. You are on your ninth round. My biceps. Yes, they're screaming. Tell yourself you're gonna do this. Now, enjoy the process. Don't Mommy. say I can't do this. This is too hard. Oh, say okay, this is hard. I got ten. I can do two more. I can do it. Okay, do it again. Land. Okay, oh, so I think I'm gonna call it which band you use. Ace and Jake. Keep track of your resistance. Now, I want you to just call it a guidebook. Because your guidebook giving me. is a tool. And it's a tool that's necessary every time you work out so you can keep track of exactly how many reps you've done, and what size weight you use so we can keep progressing. You guys ready for the next exercise? For the bench press with a leg lower, I want you to use your thigh toner. Now, if you're just starting out to modify this, follow along with Laylee. Laylee, you don't need to use the toner. I'm going to put this and then you select a weight that's appropriate for your upper body strength. I'm going to use 20 pounds just to give you an idea 
but any range that works for you. This is a process of you figuring out how much weight it's going to require. These big weights on their low back. I put the leverage of that against my elbows. Now, arms out nice and wide. I'm going to take the legs all the way up to 90, and then roll them just slightly. And I, as I take the weights all the way up, start the upward position. Now, we're going to lower the legs, crew, as we lower the weights. Nice and slow. Keep pressure against the band. Now, how low should you be taking your feet? Is different for every one of us. Why? Because every one of us has different abdominal strength. So if your abs are your weak spot, don't take your legs very low. Check Laylee out. She's showing you how to modify this, and she will eventually be able to lower her legs just like you will. But for now, continue. You're going to lower the legs only so low that you're able to still continue. You're able to still maintain contact with your back against the floor. And that's what I'm going to be looking for. And when you're back, so just kind of actually flip everything back up. This is a great step one. What I want you to do now is you can use that. Just lower them a little bit. How's that feel? Okay. And that's a great way to go from here to the next stage because eventually you're going to have your legs straight and you're going to just like the rest of us. But you've got to be able to maintain lower back pressure against the floor. And Donna, this is great. You've got the tubing, the bands. We're working upper body, lower back at the same time. And you've got really strong legs and strong touch of abdominal strength. Feet are flexed, keeping that lower back pressure against the floor. It's a great job. <sighs> now she's bringing her hands all the way up and she keeps them separated. That's great. That's just that breath, guys. So go ahead and take a breather. And then we move on. Next, the finger side. Lower body and core. That means you can do what? Go heavier. That's what they were going to say. Go heavier. So um, for this exercise, <coughs> I am actually going to go up to 25 pounds. And that might sound like a lot, but it's really the strongest muscle in your whole body. And the stronger that muscle is, the more calories it's going to burn. And I am all about getting a faster metabolism. <coughs> Anybody else? Yeah. I mean, why not? People, it's not that you're getting old that your metabolism is slowing. It's you've lost muscle. So let's get some of that back. Push your knees back and squat down nice and slow. Your knees are facing forward. Your toes are facing forward. Now you're coming up with all the weight through your heels. And we're going to bend your rib to your hip on both sides. Stand up tall, squatting down slowly all the way to your heels. Come up slow. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. And bend. Now, where do you feel it, Janelle? In your obliques. Good. That's nice. And that's where you should feel In the side of your abs. Crunch. Crunch. Stand up tall. Have a feet. Good. Now, keep your shoulders and chest up. Make sure your abs are in. Especially when you're lifting heavy weights. Be very careful that you're pulling your abs in. Continue. And not pushing out through your stomach. Instead, I want the pressure here in your heels. And when we bend to the side, she's really working your glutes. So Donna, really light pressure on your toes, pushing all the way back through your heels. Your chest is up. You're doing a great job bending to the side. Mike's got some heavy, dirty weights back here. We ain't jumping around. This is great. And you know what I love about muscle? It's unisex. It looks gorgeous on guys. It looks gorgeous on women. And everyone looks younger when their body is fit. Tight, contract the core. Step two, think about the muscle groups that we're focusing on. 
practice now, which is glutes and hamstrings. Step three, flex them and move slowly. We flex the whole way down. Now we come up super slow, keeping the hips and glutes and booty flex. I mean, every single muscle in your whole body is squeezing and my legs are shaking and you're making your weights feel like they're 100 pounds heavier than what they really are. You're creating your own resistance and you're pushing through as slow as possible. Come on, keep the weight on the heels. Push up slow. Slow, don't watch it. Slow. Nice job. That is called getting extreme. Now push your weight away carefully because that was a very heavy okay. set. Next exercise, we're going to go a lot lighter. It's posterior fly again. That small muscle group on the back of the shoulder. So I'm just going to use 12 and a half. That's a good range. And again, we're going to use both um, <coughs> weights at the same time. We'll do six reps on the leg, 12 for the arms total. Ready? Step forward with your I right grip. leg. This time. Now lean forward. Palms face away from you. Pinkies in the lead. Step back. Same leg. Ready? Lunge forward, chest down, fly. I went too fast on that one. I'm gonna slow it down. All right, so you gotta be your own personal trainer and say, am I cheating this exercise? Am I just getting through it? Or am I making it as hard as possible? That's what you need to do. Make it as tough as possible. Keep going, keep going. Life you wanna make easier. Exercise you wanna make it as tough as possible. Why? Because then you have to do fewer of them. Donna, this is a tough exercise, isn't it? It is. So you've got the resistance coming from behind. You're really targeting those posterior deltoids. These bands are killer. I love the bands. Okay, now switch legs. This Your is why I switch legs, like guys. Donna, are you ready with that other leg? All right. See, you can switch very quickly with the bands. Okay, guys, here we go. Stepping forward. Posterior fly. Lead with your pinkies. Okay, here's a cue for you. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears. Make sure that you're not shrugging. Because we're really not working to build up the neck muscles. We're trying to build up the back of the shoulders. And you've got to bring your chest down in order to do that. Lift. Good. Keep going. I hear someone huffing and puffing. I don't know what's going on back here. What's going on? Dropping when you're breathing. Breathe out right there. Okay, you went a little fast on that. You kind of jerked it up. Just kind of jerked it up. I want you to bring it up smooth. So ready? Bring it up smooth for me. You can do it. Yep. And you're pretty much done. I mean, that's why we have her stop because she's yeah. starting to feel like she's jerked the weight up. And you really have to feel like you've got control. If you don't, then your you're set is done. Now, when you're finished, what you guys are, we've got a 10 second break and then we get extreme. This is how you break down the muscle tissue. Doing a little bit more than you think you can. Pick up the weights, guys. Let's go. Time to get extreme, baby. Bring the abs in. Lean forward. Elbows up nice and high. Now, muscle group that we're going to target. Posterior deltoid. Put your mind into your back. Lift. Squeeze. Now you're strong. Tell yourself, this is piece of cake. I can pull it down nice and slow. I've got total control. Lift up, lift up. Try to keep the neck relaxed. Upper back, upper back. Bring it down slowly. Come on, one more. One more, one more. Let's go. Lift. Squeeze. Bring it down slow. Woo-wee. Yeah. All right. Nice job, guys. All right. Wrap your weights up. Last exercise, we're going to do a chest fly and lift your hips at the same time. It's 17 and a half pounds when I did my bench press. And I'm giving you those ranges so you have an idea of approximately what I'm using. And you can gauge up or down from there. Bend your knees, set the weight down, <coughs> and you're going to lay down in between those. <coughs> and I just want to show you something. And Vince, if you can come up here for a second, I want to show everybody two things. First of all, when you're lifting heavy weights, slide back and watch how I leverage the weights on my elbows. Then... Most people have been taught to do a chest fly here, and I'm not going to say that's wrong, but I want to line this up so that we are in oh, alignment with the okay, muscle. Now, start with everyone's position of their weights with the heads together and hips lifted. Now, slowly lower the hips as you lower the weights. Now, my elbows are not going to touch the floor. They're going to hover above it. I'm going to squeeze the hips back up. And look at the waist don't touch at the top either. Why? Because I'm keeping tension in the muscle group throughout the entire rep. I'm trying to make this as yeah. difficult as possible. I know that's not crazy, but it really allows me to do fewer reps great. and get better results. Intensity. Now you'll notice I'm very lightly gripping my weights. I'm not over gripping so that my forearms get tired. I'm really just got a light grip on the handles of those weights. And when you come up, I want you to focus on squeezing the glutes. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Come down super slow. Continue. I'm going to put my weights 
happen. You guys keep going. I want to check out what's happening with my family. Here we go. All right, Larry. So we are starting to down the whole time, which is a great modification. If you're just starting out, make it easy. Just focus on one muscle group, which she's doing here in the chest. She's got the heads of the weights coming together. Coming on nice and slow. Don't let your elbow touch. You feel it here. Pectoral muscles good. Squeeze together. Nice. Let's come back here, Vince. Squeeze, 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 booty. Hey, come down slow. It's like your ninth breath. So how does it feel? All right, you can do it. But you can. I need two more. Okay, come down slow. Now, so she's really contracting the abs. She's contracting the glutes. But she's not letting her elbows rest on the floor because she's a worker. She's a worker. What's going on over here? If they work, Lift the hips up, lift the hips up, squeeze. Elbows slightly bent. Once you bend your elbows just a little bit more. It's almost like you're hugging a tree. So your elbows are just slightly bent. And the only joint that's moving here is her shoulder joint. Can I change? This joint, she maintains it. That's so much angle. That's beautiful. And that's just Just a quick little break. Don't get too comfortable because I need you to flip over and do some push ups for me. Push ups are your breakdown. So I'm going to set these heavy weights away by bending my knees. Feel like a million bucks, and I know everything's shaking, but I know you're gonna feel so much stronger. And you have put in so much hard effort, I appreciate it. All right, let's take your legs out nice and wide. You want to stretch it all the way over to the right leg so you feel a good stretch to the adductors or the inner thigh muscle in the opposite way. Now, if that doesn't feel like you're stretching your leg, you can reposition so it works for you because I want you to feel how good it feels to stretch after an intense workout like that. Switch it over to the other side. That was hard work, and hard work doesn't just build muscle, it builds character. You're gonna get stronger in more ways than one. Rotate it all the way around. If this is a runner's lunge, you can bring it all the way down if you feel like you've got that flexibility, or you can keep it up like lately. It's a good modification. Go ahead and press that knee away, drive the opposite heel, and I want you to make a promise to yourself that you're gonna be here to work out with us tomorrow. You have started this journey, I want you to finish it. This isn't just a workout program, this is your new way of life. It's something that you're gonna look forward to, you're gonna treat yourself to, bring your back leg in, lift your toe up, your back is flat. Good, this is a hamstring stretch. So I have both hands on one knee, lifting up my toe, the opposite leg is straight, and I'm really lifting up my tailbone so I've got a great stretch for the hamstring. Rotate it back to center and drop your left shoulder. How good does that feel? You're going to get stronger every single time you do the workout. You're going to get stronger. Release into the opposite shoulder. I promise you that. And I want you to enjoy the process. Because from this day forward, I want you to start thinking of yourself as an athlete. All the way over. And athletes have to take care of the way they eat. They have to take care of their bodies. You're going to stop smoking. You're going to stop drinking at night. You're going to start treating yourself like it is your job to be fit. Turn and rotate, bring it all the way down to that runner's lunge. That means you've got to start eating like an athlete, too. The changes that are going to happen in your body require the right kind of fuel. Take a look at that food journal. Take a look at what you're really eating each day. And does it give you the type of fuel you need to change your body composition? Slide your back foot in. Lift up that toe. Because we're talking about becoming a leaner, meaner fighting machine. And this is how you change your metabolism. Rotate it back to center. All right, so create the right environment for yourself. So that failure isn't an option. Lift your tailbone up, rock all the way up. Because we're here for you. We're rooting for you. We're going to do this together. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining us.